Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside major champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. TPC Louisiana is a very interesting golf course made on some pretty flat land, Rich. Absolutely. And this hole shows you exactly what to expect. Second shot to a very tiny green. Tiny greens dotting this entire layout. Hit one close here, and you can expect to make a birdie. Yeah, well played. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's disappointing. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for par. Rich, if you missed a birdie opportunity at the first, you've certainly got one here at the second. Yes, yeah, par five. It's pretty much just straight away. you got to avoid those bunkers down the left-hand side. For those players laying up, you got to lay it up shy of the big bunker down the right-hand side. This green sits ever so slightly above the fairway. And again, they're just not that big of targets. It really is a cool golf course designed by Pete Dye. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? She's got a nice little 14 footer here. Ouch, that hurts. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Second shot on the second. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Harold Varner the third, currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. Put a little buttercut fade on that one. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Okay, steady now. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Nicely hold. And for par. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. TPC Louisiana might be known as a birdie fest. However, you're going to find plenty of challenges, including the par 4 fourth. How can bunkers that are so minuscule be so agonizing? That's exactly what these are down the left-hand side of the fourth hole. You avoid those, 
And you get a good look at the green for your second shot that gently works away from the player. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 190 yards. Going with the five iron here. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Lots of greens in regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got, hmm, I'd say a solid 145 here. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Didn't that look good for a long time? Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Trailing by four strokes. Rich the fifth is a shortish par four by today's standards, but still enough there to mess with your ball. Players want to move the tee shot from right to left on this hole because there's some trees on the tee box that'll kind of force you that direction. So driver may not be the play. The second shot, however, that's where it gets interesting. This green, absolutely belongs in a skate park this has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it it is a very cool design Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the pitching wedge here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Tried to draw that one in there, Luke. Just missed the mark. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Beauty of a chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. This is a good opportunity for her to make a par. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And after that effort, that's how it looks. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The six is a tremendous par four. Plenty of golf hole, this one. Water all the way down the left-hand side, so that's going to shove your tee shot out to the right, which make that second shot so much longer. Not much to the screen. It's fairly flat, but finding it in two, well, that's a tall order. What's she facing with this shot, Henny? Yep, about 195, that's her number. Going with the hybrid. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order, but after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, how about that one? And that will take her to one under. 